let's get into this game. It should be awesome. It is TSL's Revival, who's playing as, excuse me, uh, he is the Zerg in the lower left position, and we have Freya as the Protoss player in the top right. It is the first game of best of three. I am SC2 England, and who? I wonder who my co-cast will be for Antec Attack. Why don't you introduce yourself for a change? Hello, everyone. I'm Pee Wee. <laughs> that's <laughs> and, a bit different from the, our standard routine. That was the routine. last time I ever let you introduce yourself. <laughs> I, I, wanted to, I wanted to make a weird voice and pretend to be someone else, Did but you? I couldn't think fast enough, sadly. <laughs> I was going to be Banks, actually. Were you? You, um, you could have like put on a little gruff voice and pretended to be Batman or something. At least that would have been entertaining. <laughs> oh my god, i seen a funny advert. It was on Reddit. It was like, oh, like, there's like a... A war between funniest commercials, you know, like Reddit does. Yeah. And um, there was one. It was like, oh, this is my funny. <laughs> this is the funniest commercial I've ever seen. And it's like a Snickers advert, and the guy's like, he's playing football, and he gets like whacked in the head, and the coach is like, who? Oh, wait a second. Like he's like, who am I? He's like, you're the coach. He's like, where are we? He's like, I'm in New York. He's like, who are you? And he's like, I'm Batman. <laughs> and then he's like, no, no, no. He's like, but I'm Batman. <laughs> <laughs> and like. It was so random, but I thought it was absolute quality. Definitely. Talking I'll, I'll of find quality, it. though, um, Revival, he's playing everything straight up, and so is Freya. Freya is almost certainly going for a Nexus first build, I reckon, at the moment. And, is, well, is he going to block... Sorry, is he going to block the natural? The probe's there already. The probe um, is there. I mean, the pool's on the way. It's, I, he hasn't I, seen the pool, though. No, but I think mostly... Is, is Revival just going to go to the third first? More than likely, this just, is what just like not even going to try a bother. Just like, just going to go over here. It'll all be okay, okay. in the end. Yep. yep, and because of course revival always goes like three hatch. Please stand. It doesn't cheese. Like it's fine for him to do this. I mean, and it of is course, the Korean way. You don't cheese, <laughs> just ever. Pretty much, and I like even on my ladder, I notice a lot of zigs do this anyway. So, I know it's it's so common now, and. It's going to get stupid pretty soon, like, now most Protoss players are going for the Nexus first build, they're like, well, you're going to get three bases up quickly, I'm going to get bases up quickly. Um, the next logical progression, in my opinion, is going to be the Protoss player getting, going Nexus, Nexus Forge, <laughs> to which the Zerg will respond with Hatch, 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 before doing anything, and yeah. eventually this, the maps will be huge, and everyone... Games will go on for like hours of just expansions and find the end. It'll, it'll be like 190 harvesters and tents <laughs> by army, and you just do nothing but like reinforce ten supply <laughs> instantly. <laughs> yeah, with like mass tech and everything. There's um, nothing massively unusual going on here. The Nexus just finishes the can of interest and there are two gas in production for Freya in the meantime the third started for revival it's a yeah. perfect timing it was about four minutes 20 ish which is absolutely spot on and everything is normal no gas yet which is to be expected a couple of uh, the queens transferring and yeah it's nearly there she must be like yes 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 like 100 meters I've just got this funny image now of like ZVP going to like this mass expansion race and then Idra coming on or something and it going to like the Zerg pl or like the Protoss player will only expand like four times and then do a push and Idris just being like ah F you such <laughs> cheese all in not four base <laughs> and he's expanded to like half the map it amuses me I, I feel it, it will happen one day <laughs> alright first 100 gas also goes to the plus one and the warp gate should be started boom there it is so we may have some very very um, aggressive play out of freight Freya here, we got the Zealot, then followed up by a Stalker because of course there is no speed for the Zerglins and he can follow that up with four gateway pressure into a third, four gateway uh, Stargate. There's a lot of variances from this. Pretty much you just have to make sure he doesn't take a third and fourth gas because no, that means yeah. much more tech uh, play. The Overlord's in a good spot to spot the fourth gas if need be or at least yep. know there's three out. That Zealot poking around won't engage there. Two gas are down at the moment for Revival, and I really like what Revival's done by putting one gas in the main and one at the third position, yeah. because the Zeller came in and saw the gas there, and pulled out, and now he's got to play a guessing game, well, is he on at least, how many gas is he on? I, I genuinely don't know, it could be anywhere from one to five. Definitely, here we have the three gateways. 
now in production, so it looks like this is actually the standard that I do. Revival's got that Overlord coming in though, it is sacrificing itself, but it's going to give away exactly what's going on. Perfect scouting time, it started trundling its way through at 7 minutes, which is a great time to sacrifice an Overlord to know exactly what's coming down. He's going to see the 4th gas as well, and even with these Zerglings harassing this Zerdet Stalker push. Yeah, and... Oh, look at Freya moving that Zella just to the behind the mineral line, so it's minimized. Ah, oh, that's quality. And yeah, um, we have a few units just produce some Zerglings, and we should have some Roaches produced fairly soon. There's double it, pylons coming out, and... Well, one was cancelled, but reinforcements are now from that proxy pylon, and there's going to be a push coming for you. Yeah, and of course, this is this is my build. This is what I do all the time, so it's pretty good. Um, he's How hitting dare just Freya copy you? I know. <laughs> he's hitting. He's hitting revival just before speed kicks in, so he can micro with stalkers, and then he'll warp in with some zealots. And Freya, like four gateways is standard anyway. So you, like, even though revival senior may like be, oh well, he's just you know needs production because that's standard so to be honest, that's why he didn't really... this third base is getting very low on health here yeah and i know there's that's probably the gonna third go base down. Is dead. yeah that's third base is so dead and well with no losses taking our third base with what is going to be like one zealot down is he definitely worthwhile oh did you lose a stalker as well yeah but still in terms of resources lost revival could come off way worse and is now <clears> on equal bases with freya as well yeah. Which isn't fun. Freya adding on two more gateways and a robo. That'll take him up to six gate. Yeah, and there is Blink already in production as well as plus two. So he's going to follow this up with a plus two, seven gate Blink all in probably, or just a six gate. This is, He can expand with this, but it's it's not built for expanding really. To you be need honest, more why, why would you expand here? You're on equal bases with the Zerg player. You've just taken out their third basically taking no losses behind yes. it the Zerg player now pretty much has to do a big push at you yeah, otherwise absolutely. they're massively behind so sit back defend get a lot of units out and then if they don't attack you well guess what you've got a huge army if they do attack you well <laughs> you've got a huge army and the seven gate has been thrown down it is important to note as well the proxy pylon at the bottom of the ramp of the third is still alive for Freya and his true. probe is still in the bottom as well so like he can keep building stuff, and there is also a war prism. Hmm. That well, must just be. Well, just I'm a, I'm thinking we may see point. from Freya is well he knows all of these Zerg. Well, he will shortly know a lot of Zerg units are here. He could just reinforce down at his proxy pylon with say four zealots and just go and wreak havoc on that rebuilt third. Absolutely, or he could you know maybe leapfrog into the main with a couple of zealots just to split the the uh, the Zerg's forces completely in half. To be honest, Revival, he's going for a complete all-in here. He's getting so many yeah. roaches out. He's stopped droning completely. But admittedly, he's at 64, and without the third base, that won't do much. But um, third base just up now for Revival, but he was on equal bases for so long, though. He was, and his economy, he's pretty much hasn't built anything up. He's used and a couple actually, of Actually, just as I thought, these Zealots have been warped in, but they are going to force yeah. all of Revival's army back which is never fine in the slightest. The War Prism on its way over with Zealots to the Queen. <laughs> Zealots to the Queen. It was faking going into nice, the main. Nice. He gets a Queen. Actually... Oh, that is beautiful play there by Freya. Freya is just surrounding that Queen. Amazing. Sick. And third is also in production for Freya, to be noted. And just amazing drop and pick up production. There's nothing there to be taken down. The third, oh. as you say, coming up behind this. And, well, this drop, pick up and drop micro out of this War Prism beautiful oh but of course revival now knows that there's a third having a zerglin just like that was a bit bad there was a zerglin just out of range of the nexus and a pro built a pylon that like was uh, like activated the zerglin to run at the nexus and spotted it so that was a bit bad for freya but of course still this war prism doing a load of damage yeah. trying to take down another queen but he's gonna have to be really careful ones that it does die there <laughs> And Revival is having to keep all of his army back, which is never fun because this is giving Freya time to get out his own units. And ooh, ooh, there's one immortal sacks. out. A second immortal is about to drop. And the plus three ground weapons, about two thirds done. And of course, those seven gates, still forever the threat. Yeah, and pl plus three is really big as well. That's huge. It seems there's only. Plus one attack for missiles, and then there's, there's no other upgrades. Gra uh, level one carapace is about to finish. 
Still, that's pretty big. And now we have Infestation, Pipbane, and Nest, Ventral Sacks, and Overload Speed are in production as well as... Ooh, Attack Shrine just got started. So, so we're going to have Baning Rain and DTs. Yeah. Or probably Archons, most likely. I love the way every every single caster i ever known says they're like Ventral Sacks and Overlord Speed, because no one can say that word. Yeah. Like Numerized Carapace. Numeri... No. Pneumatized carapace, carapace. Yeah, and it's something like that. Something like that. It's Overlord just, speed. <laughs> Overlord speed is the technical yeah. term for that. <laughs> Pretty much, and we actually have a fourth base halfway done now as well for revival. Oh, that stalker blinked in like a a weird line. That was weird, and that dies. It does see all the force coming over though? Um, there's a good wall off at the third. Two cannons there. The gateways defending them, and of course a lot of units for Freya on their way over. But look at all these overlords, Pew, coming down out of the natural base. Oh, nice. We're going to see big Bane rain here. That is quite a lot. We actually don't have any Banelands yet. Okay, there they are. Now, 37. A, a big tell Archons are on the way is that Protoss Shield's level 1 on the way out, rather than the armor. That is actually a good point. He does have double forge, though, so he could start it soon. But. It's going to be interesting if he spot oh with there there is a war prism directly going towards those overlords. If that spots that that will be huge. That's a big tail there all there. That and is of course, huge. We do have hive literally just finished for Oh, he's going to spot it just in time like oh no. Did he oh. see it? Did he? he he didn't he literally just moved off like he's seen that overseer just to the right and missed it, but he might move down and spot it again. Or he's gonna is he gonna warp something in? He knows the fourth base must be there, but he just needs to know if these overlords are there. Yeah, he's seen it the creep and the the hatchery, so he knows. And he's just I think he's putting that there ready. But in the meantime Well, there's a big to... push coming down at the very bottom right. I think he lost his first war prism. Frey's moving long, forward. There's a second war prism there as well for reinforcements. And this third base for revival, yet again looking to be in problems. The plus three weapons are done. The plus one shields are done. Um, oh, great force fields. These force fields are on the money. Those immortals wreaking havoc. That third base is going to take damage everywhere. Uh, but, <laughs> but in come the overlords, Pewing. Get um, ready. This is big oh, bane rain. Oh, oh, look at that. It'll oh, go oh. absolutely perfect. And that's done an awful lot of damage, but Freya still over 50 supply ahead. <coughs> but yeah, instantly, but no, they're up. completely no. even. <laughs> now they are, they weren't for a second, but that's yeah. all due to 24 ah. roaches coming up, which is yeah. a real panic move out of revival. And Dude, to be honest, I down. think Freya has just too much stuff. He, he's won it now. And there's the GG, so that was game one, that was pretty awesome. So stay that tuned was... for game two, guys.